Hello, good evening. Hello, guys. Can you listen to me? Good evening. Yes, we can hear you. Great. Uh, thank you so much for joining in. I can see we are seven people connected, so welcome. But I don't see anybody. I only see Emma, Angie, and uh, Reina, Jose. So welcome, guys. It's nice to see you again. Let me see. Nice to see you too. Hey, you see, you see. <laughs> so <laughs> how was your vacation? <laughs> Great. What Great. about you? My vacation was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, well, so it's, it's so nice to see you. Welcome. I can see Emma is here. Jose as well. And, and what's your name? Joel or Joel? How do you like people to call you? Mm, you can call me Joel. It's okay. Well, very good. Roxana. Hello, Roxana. How are you doing? Hi. I am fine. And you? Nice. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. I see Jeffrey yeah. just arriving. And some of you guys already know me because we were on the previous group, but I, I see some new faces, which is awesome. Okay. So let me tell you that this is the first time that I'm assigned with um, maybe with uh, same students because some of you were in the previous group, but I also see new faces. So welcome. This is our first session and today we're going to study, our, this is pre-advanced. So that, that tells me that you guys speak already the language. So um, welcome, Gustavo, how's it going, Gustavo? Hello, good to see you again. Good to see you too. <laughs> yeah, all right. Welcome, guys. Let me start sharing the screen. Give me one second, please. Hmm. Here we go. All right, so this is uh, pre advanced. So that's really awesome. This time you guys are gonna be speaking English a lot. You, you guys are the, the protagonists of this. I'm gonna be only listening to you. Uh, well, some general recommendations, guys. Uh, first of all, welcome to your first online session. And I always like to know my students. I think I kind of know some of you already, but I would still love to hear from you, okay? So that's why I have these three very simple steps, okay? In which I want you to go one by one and start presenting. So you want to greet, and then you want to, this time I want you to speak more, try to speak about you as much as you can. I'm gonna give you maybe, I don't know, one, two or three minutes, okay? For you to talk about you and talk about what it's really, let's see, relevant. Something that you want to highlight about you, maybe your uh, educational background, experience, or personality, whatever you wanna talk about in this uh, specific section. And then you wanna talk about expectations from this course, especially because it's online and it's advanced, it's pre-advanced, so I want to hear what are your expectations about this. So we are uh, 10 people connected plus me, this is 11. And I would like to know who would like to volunteer being this the first one. Who? Cool. Let's see, let me stop sharing. And I can see, uh, remember that if you can turn your camera on, that'll be awesome. So that means that when you have your, ca your camera on, you are present here, right? And sometimes when you have it off, you basically what? I don't know if you are just there or you are just doing something different. And this is only one hour. You see, it's already five minutes. So tell me, anybody? Uh, maybe I would like to start. All right. Okay, um, my name is Joel Pastran. I live in San Salvador with my mother and my sister. I've been studying English since 2000, 2018, a, a really long time. 
but I have never taken English to a serious level, like to get a job and work in that kind of um, business, you know, speaking English. So this is the reason why I entered to this course this time, because I want to improve my, my skills speaking English. And uh, I actually work in a call center, but in Spanish. And my, ne my next step maybe is to get a, a full English position. And basically, that's me. Nice. Glad to hear that. I know you will make it, Joel. Working in a call center, if you already you. working in a Spanish account, so yeah, you can go ahead and, and, and upgrade to a full English account and it's more money, right? It's more money and so you can, you know, plan some other things. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So would you mind sharing where you work? What is the call center you work for? I work in Atento. Oh, I know it's where that is. In, it's about the mundo. Yeah. Right. I know. I know. I know that place. But, okay. Uh huh. Okay. What's your dream? What's your expectations? I mean, what are your uh, plans? Do you have any call center in mind? No, I don't have. And maybe working in our call center is just one expectation because I want to. Mm -hmm. Uh, finish uh, my career because I'm studying in the university and I just did one year but uh, I want to finish that, that career. I'm studying English, uh, mother languages, French and, and English and I want to finish that but for this moment is in pause. You just have it on hold. Okay, great. As I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. If you are studying uh, these languages, which are French and English, it's really, um, let's say, interesting because that's gonna give you many opportunities. And well, I'm glad if you work in a call center, maybe it's gonna be just temporary, but then as you just said it, when you want, you want to basically focus on your studies, which is long-term, right? At the end, you want to be, a professional. I know some of uh, the ones who are in this session are already professional, but then we all have different expectations. So welcome, Joel. I really hope I Thank can you. I can contribute to your learning. That's my uh, mission. That's my objective. And that's why I'm here as well. And this is what I love doing. You know, I'm you know, I've been teaching for a while, and yeah, I think I can help you a little bit. Okay, because yeah, centers has been my it's been my field for a couple of years, so I, I know. I know that, that place, I know that area too. Let's see. I, feel, I've, I just wanna say that I feel really excited to be here with you. Awesome, great, I'm glad to hear that. Well, let's see, we, we need to hear in, like more people talking, speaking the language. So let's see, who wants to go next? Me teacher. Go ahead, please. Um, okay, uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Melissa. I live in Lourdes and I work in Bali Manufacturing. I am an account manager and I have a degree in marketing. And I have a little business about the accessories for girls. And my expectation about this course is improve my English, my vocabulary and my pronunciation. Nice. I'm so glad to hear you are an entrepreneur. You already have your own business selling accessories. So do you do you uh, send like orders? Because I'm from Sonsonate. That's this. This is where I live. I due to the pandemic, I'm living here. I think I'll never go back to San Salvador again. But then, if you send deliveries to different areas in that in the in the country, you know, I might be your your customer. Okay. Not for me, not for me, but you know, I got some, you know, <laughs> like relatives who I can, you see Angie is laughing, okay, uh, who I can give, you know, away some stuff. So I'm glad, Roxana, you're doing a good job. Your English is really good. I can hear it. Nice. Okay. So let's see who else wants to go next. More people are joining in. That's really cool. So who wants to go next? Thank you, Emma. Well, hello, my name is Emma Portillo. 
I'm 20 years old and I'm sorry, I don't know what in my this is my fourth year at the university. Well, my expectation for, for this course is first I want to improve my English skills because I have been studying English for a long time, but I always do some things and I forget it. And moreover, I want to get a job in an aviation company. That's why I need to have a good level of English and I need to uh, learn about different kind of uh, languages. But the first is, I mean, first is English because English is like the most important language now today. And that's why I want to have a better opportunities for my life. And that's all. Awesome. Yeah, you will. You will have them. I, I don't doubt it because you're doing a good job. Your career, your major is really awesome. I really admire that. And in the area you are, you know, dealing with, it's, it has a lot to offer. So that's really cool. Thank you so much, Emma. Let's listen to Reina. Reina. Why are you so serious today? Come on, so tell us. Good evening, uh, my name is Reina. I'm 22 years old. Uh, also, I'm studying aeronautical engineering. Uh, this is my for one year too. Uh, and I really want to learn about the language because uh, all the information about uh, aeronautics is in English. So it's so important and I feel that uh, probably my, I don't know how do you say, debilidad. Weakness. My weakness is uh, what I just did because I had the idea, but I forget a word or I don't know how do you say a word. So I really want to improve my vocabulary and my pronunciation. I think one of the tips that I can give you is whenever you forget one specific word, Maybe you want to use a synonym or try to explain it in a different way. You know, not necessarily this word has to be mentioned so you can transmit the idea. You can, you know, kind of like use a synonym or explain it so you don't get like, um, I don't know, maybe stuck on this, you keep going, okay? You're doing a good job. Actually, your English right now is really good. I can hear it, you know, that's really cool. Are you with Emma classmate or not? Are you classmates? Yes, we are glad. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Good, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Let's see, Angie. Go ahead, Angie. Hey, everyone. Um, my name is, uh, my real name is Angelica, but all my students, all my family, all my friends uh, tell me Angie. Since I was a child, um, I live in Chachuapa, Santa Ana. I have a daughter and I have, uh, I, am, I am 40 years old. I am a teacher. I am a kindergarten teacher. And <laughs> why, why, am I why am I here? Because I need to, I need to, I need and I want, uh, uh, a better pronunciation, better skills in English because I need to grow up my my CV. You want to have a nicer like resume, right? So when when the the, the person who is gonna hire you says, "Wow, this is the profile I'm, I was looking for." <laughs> All right, I'm glad. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely. When you know how to speak the language, that's that's a plus. That's that's for sure. Let's see, uh, Jeffer and then Gustavo. Okay, uh, good evening to everybody. Uh, my name is Jefferson. I like to be called Jeffer or Jefferson or Jeff. Uh, I am studying civil engineering. I am in fourth year. And my expectation about the course is to improve my English in order to do the TOEFL exam and get uh, more opportunities in, my, in the university and in uh, future work. 
Awesome. Tuffle, you see, tuffle. All right, that's really good. I know that's a very like challenging test, but nothing to worry about, Jeffrey. You'll make it. Okay, it's a matter of trusting yourself. And I think in order for you to graduate, you need to get at least 551, I think that's the score. But then nothing to worry about. I'm telling you because I went through that and I know, I know what it takes. So you're doing a good job. And I know you are studying this engineering, right? Which is really cool. I know you, you, you I think you live at designing stuff, floors and buildings. I don't know what you do there, but well, thank you so much for sharing. Let's see, uh, we have some people who are missing here. Uh, Jose, I said Gustavo, right? So Gustavo, please go ahead, share about you, please. Hello, good evening, hello again. Um, well, my name is Gustavo Coreas for the news. When, uh, you can call me Gustavo, no problem. Uh, I am software engineer. I work uh, at Ministry of Finance as software developer. I'm 29 years old. And I, I really uh, need and I am want to improve improve my English because uh, maybe it's one thing that I I left uh, for many time because since 2010 I have never uh, see again English class uh, or another until last year that I start this program. And I want to, to improve. I want to learn a lot and, and well, practice, practice. Uh, and one day maybe speak naturally with anybody. I like your perspective, Gustavo. Uh, speaking naturally, like not thinking in Spanish, right? Just yeah, go, yeah. let it flow, you know. Without yes. need to traduce in my mind some exactly. words. So just mm -hmm. naturally. Right, natural. Without translating, right? Okay, good. Let's see. Uh, I think some of you are missing. Francisco is here. Daniel, Jose, Evelyn, please. You're missing, guys. Come on, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to be the next one. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Francisco Mancia. And I'm 22 years old, and I decided to start. I decided to learn English around three years ago. But when I was at school, but I decided to to stop because it didn't like me too much, and I decided to um, learn more because I want to get a job and improve my it's my skill because I have good ideas, but sometimes I have a problem when I want to show with uh, with people that I'm talking or when I go, for example, if I would like to apply in a call center or something else, because I would like to get uh, a job, but I know that I need to learn more because I need to learn vocabulary or pronunciation, including uh, intonation, intonation, because sometimes I don't sound natural in my, and I'm here because I would like to get a job and improve my situation because I'm not working and I need to work. Great, that's a great motivation, Francisco. Right, I think when you have a reason which motivates you to continue, that's really good. And this, this is what makes a difference, guys. When you, uh, let's see, I'm teaching teenagers on weekends, I'm teaching kids during the, during the week, I'm working with different levels as of now, and you guys at night. And then uh, when I'm working with kids, when I'm working with teenagers, they don't have a reason. They just go to school because they want I mean, their parents you know, have them go to school, but in your case, it's different. You have a motivation, you have the discipline, you have already like determined what you want to get, and that's really cool. 
So that's why I love working with uh, adults. That's a lot different. So that's really cool. So Francisco, yeah, go for it. I mean, I think your English is really good. I mean, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad. And definitely you're going to improve your English if you keep this attitude, all right? Um, let's see, we have now, I don't know, I think Jose hasn't said anything. Jose? Hi, hi teacher, hi everybody. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, well, my name is Jose Francisco, but here I am registered like Jose Peña. You can call me Jose, you can call me Jose Peña, Peña, <laughs> like you want. There's no matter. So uh, one of my expectations is to improve my English skill. Um, my English is my English, my speaking skill and uh, listening as well, because they are both really important for us in order to understand and to respond what the other people are saying. So uh, that's why I am here. I hope to learn. I hope to start to make, to go perfect, make profession in my, in my speaking. Mm. And that's it. All right, very good. Yeah, that's the mission, Jose. That's the mission, right? And when we want to learn, when we want to really like achieve one goal, you know, it's doable. It's something that we can, uh, you know, get. It's reachable. It's, it's every, I mean, everything is, is in our hands, okay? So let's go for it. And this uh, time, guys, I want to say this because it's our first session. I know sometimes it is not easy to have the cameras on, but then once again, I insist on this because if you guys have the cameras on, you commit to be listening, to be focused here. It's only 60 minutes, it's not much. And it's only like uh, 60 minutes times four. So it's only four hours weekly, it's little. So maybe you want to make this little effort and whenever we have classes, be here, be, be present here, okay? And a way of demonstrating that commitment is having the cameras on. I mean, I'm not forcing anybody because sometimes you don't feel like having the camera on because you haven't taken a shower. <laughs> no, I think it's something different, but then, uh, I mean, it's okay. This is our family. This is our, at the end, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see you physically. I don't know, I mean, just, I don't know if maybe I will never see you you know, I'm like in person. So relax, be yourself, speak the language and feel free to participate and ask questions. Human beings make a lot of mistakes and you and me are human beings, okay? So let's keep, let's first of all, uh, not be afraid of making mistakes. That's very common. And sometimes these things stop us from, you know, speaking more fluently. So just go ahead and speak. And let's see who else wants to participate. I think one is missing. Who's missing? Me, teacher. Okay, Evelyn, I knew that. Go ahead, please. Okay, hi, good evening. My name is Mariela Romero. I am 30, 29 years old. I am a logistic engineer and I work for a free forwarding company. So. We have shipments all, of, all over the world and daily I have to write emails in English. So that is, that's why I'm here because I want, I want to improve my, my English because one day maybe I, I have to talk with all the people I send emails. Uh, already I, I didn't talk to anybody because the time difference. So I want to be prepared if, if one day I have to talk with any agent around the world. So that's why I'm here. Nice. I think uh, Mariela, you said you are going to, yes. you are going to speak like very soon with one of these. If you are there, <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt it. And I'm glad you are like uh, preparing for that moment. Well, yes. right, yeah, writing emails might be really challenging because they are yes. formal, right? 
that there is one app that I can suggest you later. You can use when you write emails. Um, so I later on I can give it to you, and it's really cool. It, it helps okay. a lot. Well, at least I think I think that the people understand me because they answered what I am I am asking. So, <laughs> but the more difficult is write English to to India because they uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know I. I really, it's hard to, to understand what they can, they want to say. Imagine. And that, that also happens when it's speaking, you know. Um, once I had to call the, uh, to another department while I was working in a call center and an Indian agent answered and it was really hard to understand because their accent is kind of, you know, heavy, kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe hard to understand. But it's, it's understandable because it's not their native language, right? As, I don't know, I think the accent is the most challenging part. Now think about it like this email now being read by one of these guys, so it's, it's more difficult. And it's, you know, that's something that we might face, we might face, you know, at any time in our lives. All right, so thank you so much, Evelyn, for sharing. Daniel, you are the last. As we say, the last but not the least, go ahead, please. Me? Yes, Daniel, go ahead. Oh. Um, my name is Daniel Palacios. I can call me Daniel. Um, I live in San Martin. I work in Soyapango. Um, I hope and learn by leading and um, listen and to class the to the class. Um, I am not the level and the how do you pronounce your compañeros? Classmates. Classmate, um, I hope you have patience with me. I hope and lear learn by learning. Exactly. No worries, Daniel. It's a process, and we all understand that we have been, you know, exactly in that position. And I know how you might feel, no worries. Actually, you are doing a good job. That's why you are here in this group, okay? So let's keep going, guys. Thank you so much for uh, your uh, ideas. I really like hearing about you guys, about me. There's not much to say, but what I can really say is that I love teaching English and this has been my job since I was 20. Uh, I was not even graduated from the university and I was already, already teaching the language. You know, I graduated uh, four years ago from the bachelor, but then I've been teaching uh, many levels and that's why I'm here. I think uh, being part of insa for is just, just a cool idea. Okay, so let's uh, get focused on these um, topics today because today we have a nice topic and I want to talk about friendship. Joel, do you want to say anything? Yes, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. I don't know your name. So what is oh, your I, name? I haven't said my name. <laughs> my name is, it was on the, uh, I think I need to go back. Joel, this is my, not my the thing is that I, I wrote, this is, I think I, I didn't, I didn't uh, show it. I'm this sorry, is my I didn't name. see my name is Armando. Uh, actually, my first name is Jesus, but then I like to be called Armando because, you know, first name Jesus, Jesus is too much for me. And, and I rather, you know, use Armando. So that's my name. And I like to be called teacher Armando. Like I can like demand this from my students. Don't say to me Jesus, don't say to me teacher Jesus. Please call me teacher Armando. Sounds fancier, I think, and sounds more like I deserve it. Okay. This is my name. And I was named Thank after you. my father. Yeah, my father's name is the same. 
Okay, so expectations are being are, are set. Please, guys, participate as much as you can. It's only now 30 minutes left. Clarify your doubts, raise your hand. Please don't be afraid to say, teacher, you're, you're wrong. I mean, I'm, I'm someone who loves, you know, uh, people who uh, participate and who are open to feedback and to contribute to the class. If you find a topic that, that you already know, because it might be the case, because you are already like advanced, go ahead and add more ideas, okay? And then if you already know this topic, bring more ideas to the table, that's gonna help, okay? Instead of saying, wow, this is so boring, I'm gonna turn my camera on, off, I'm sorry. So basically, it depends on your attitude. And uh, raise your hand to participate, that's gonna help us a lot. Use reactions. If you don't like anything, just go ahead and I don't know, do something. If you love something you heard, you can use the reactions there, okay? And when you're not talking, I will appreciate if you can mute your mic, okay? Let's get started. Uh, well, this is just a reminder. We, all, we only have four weeks. And basically in, in week one and week two, there are uh, the first three sections to be done plus a midterm, okay? That's the way it works for those who is uh, the first time joining, you know, this type of uh, programs. And then it's, uh, week three is section four and week four, we basically have uh, section five plus the final test. That's the way it works. We're going to be guiding you throughout this process, okay? And whenever you have questions about any or any specific exercise on the platform, just write it down and have it ready for the session of the night. And we can talk about it, okay? That's gonna be something that we can do. I always suggest having a notebook so you can write your ideas down and we can discuss it on the class. Okay, our first topic, like I said, so welcome. Uh, the first topic is, that's what friends are for. I love this uh, expression. That's what friends are for. And I love hearing it when a friend of mine uh, says it to me, okay? When you need help and somebody help you and you say, wow, thank you so much. You know, Thank you for helping me on this. And then you hear this expression. That's what friends are for. That's really kind, okay? Now, to start talking, I need Daniel. Daniel, can you please help me with this ob uh, objective? Is only one. Only read it, please. Read for us. By? By the end of this lecture, participant will be able to use reality pronouns will and that as subject. Awesome, thank you so much. Well, I know you guys know this already because uh, you might have heard this if you were in a previous group. We talked about this, so that's really cool. But before we get to this topic, I want to show you this picture. And this is your first challenge, okay? What do you see on this picture? I want you to raise your hand and talk for one minute, okay? What do you see on this picture? What is their relationship? What are they doing? Where are they? Who are they? Why are they there? So whenever you want to speak, a tip that I can give you is this. Think about what, where, how, and all these question words. So who wants to take the challenge describing this, this uh, picture? You can make things up, you can invent, okay? As long as you speak for a minute. Let's see, who wants to start? One minute, talking. Only one, come on. Looks like it's a date in a bar. Okay, keep talking. And I don't know, maybe he turns on the music machine and she doesn't like what she she's here. Uh -huh. I don't know. A lot music, maybe. And and he he don't understand 
why doesn't like her with the face though i i don't what you want okay thank you so much this time i'm gonna be tracking you don't see my phone because of the of the background i have let me see if i can uh but i have my phone here okay and then i'm gonna be tracking the time i'm gonna be tracking the time and i'm gonna give you one minute and talk about this, okay? Talk about this picture. Let me tell you that I, uh, when I worked uh, in, a, in these places, Cosener, once they asked me, talk for a minute about this. And if you don't speak for a minute, and then they said, you're not capable of this job. Only because you don't say, you don't do what they say. And it's, that's for real, uh, that's a, a, a real story that I can say. So that's why I bring you this challenge. One minute talk. So oh, let's see who wants to go. <clears throat> so who wants to go next? Anybody, please, only maybe, one. Maybe me. Okay, go ahead. I want to, I, Paul, I want okay, to give Joel. it a try. Okay, Joel, give me a second. Let me look for my stopwatch. It's right here. So mm -hmm. stopwatch, three, two, one. When I say stop, you stop it. One, go. Okay, okay as, as Gustavo said, maybe they eat it together in a date having a good time in a bar or a cafe or a coffee shop, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's difficult to translate her face because she has a, a heart above her head, but she looks like, I don't know, screaming, I don't know. Maybe a pop song came into the radio and she likes that song like a crazy. And maybe he, he doesn't like pop, maybe he likes rock. And that's why he looks confused and a little bit uncomfor uncomfortable. And maybe he thought that it would be a, a perfect date and it's not going in that way. And maybe that's why he looks, um, you know, worried. And maybe he's thinking that he probably should leave the bar and leave her and never call her back. I don't know. <laughs> um, what else can I see? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm getting a little bit nervous stop, right now. Stop. Okay. Very good. You see, you don't see my phone, but it's one minute, one minute and three seconds. You see, maybe. Okay. You and then, well, it's really good. Actually, I like the ideas. That's the purpose. That's the idea that you speak the language. My only suggestion, well, is to use uh, connecting words or this type of word that will make or that will make your, your talk look nicer. For example, additionally, moreover, okay. on the other hand, however, those words are, you know, uh, these linking words which make something look, you know, better. So that's, that's what I can suggest. Maybe we can talk about this later on, okay? How to uh, add okay, these you. connectors, which, you know, help a lot. Okay, good. But then the ideas were really good. Actually, when when it was 55 seconds, you were you stopped and then you were saying, well, I don't know what to say about, but then you were about to make it. It was really close. Really good. So let's see. One more. One more volunteer. Okay, reactions for, for Hoel, guys. Any reaction? Reaction? Let's see. Reactions. Please don't be rude. Let's see. Reaction. Evelyn, like, like, like. Applauses, okay. All right, next one, take the challenge, please. Are they friends? Are they a couple? Are they lovers just having a good time and they messed up and now they don't know what to do? What is going on here? Okay, okay, so that's the, that's the idea. Who wants to go next? Mm -hmm. Come on, take the challenge. Take it. We're learning. It's okay to, to stop. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. Come on. I see your faces. I know you want to talk. I know. I know that. I have seen those faces previously. So, okay, Angie, go ahead, Angie. Let me see. Get ready. Oh. Three, okay. two, one, go. I think they are a, a, a friend, uh, a couple of friends. 
and maybe they, they are in, in the bar because I, I see uh, a bottle of wine and and maybe um, they they was um, drink um, uh, a cup of wine and I think that her her face is um, is a uh, is in shock because he's he say her he love her i don't know maybe maybe that's why she that's why uh she have that face and that's that's why that his face too i don't know um maybe that that they is in the night um maybe um all the all the oh. conversation. Thank you so much. Okay. okay, good. You see, you see, if you start thinking and analyzing what you want to say, you can still add more ideas, right? And then you can focus on the guy's reaction, maybe then what's going to happen next and so on and so forth. Really good. Is there any other volunteer before we move on? Okay, I think I have someone else. Who is this guy? Let's see. Jeffer, go ahead, Jeffer. Three, two, one. Ready? Let's see. Three, two, one. Go. Um, Mario and Maria, they met in Tinder and they are having a blind date. And they agreed to meet them in a local bar between the city of Mario and the zero of Maria. Uh, they agreed to meet in uh, Sunday at night uh, because Bauton worked on Monday. Uh, but when the date starts, uh, Maria saw to Mario and she fell in love automatically. And Mario uh, was so confused because uh, Maria was different uh, in the photographic and in, in person was different uh, because uh, he's... No. I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> okay, yeah, you have talked for, for uh, more than a minute, like a minute and two seconds. Listen, Jeffrey, as you can see, as you can see, now that you name even the characters here and start thinking about one scenario, that makes it, I think, easier to talk. And that was really, that was a really good catch because you have this idea, this scenario, and you start talking. And blind dates, it's a really interesting topic, you know, to discuss. Well, we might talk about blind dates in, a, in, in a, the future. Thank you so much. Now I'm gonna give you three minutes, guys, for you to discuss this, these questions. Let's see. Uh, so please, only three questions. Write them down, maybe or a screenshot, because I'm gonna give you uh, three minutes or more, maybe four minutes, for you to discuss this in, in pairs or in groups of three. So I'll give you two minutes or less to write them down. Or if you like, you can screenshot and send it to the chat, WhatsApp chat. Maybe anybody.
Okay, well, guys, I'm gonna give you three minutes. Please talk to your partners about this, and then I'm gonna, um, you know, close the, the breakout room so you can talk with the whole class. So here we go. I'm going to make groups of three and sometimes four. Take turns to ask and answer. Here we go. Obviously, I will help. Okay. But no, uh, when my friends need help, I of course I will help them because um, I know that when I need a uh, I need help, I'm going to ask, ask for them, and I know that they will help me, and I and I'm a person who really like to be polite and helpful with everybody as as can or as need and I know that is important in the life because we have to to be happy with everybody or we can always talk this meeting is being recorded and always be sincere with other people that we consider that 
they are our friends because we can talk with many kind of people, but we have to decide if we, I mean, we have to decide which, which what kind of uh, her feelings or his feelings. So I feel that I'm a good friend, but I'm no, I'm not able to be friend of everyone because I'm 22 yeah. years old and I don't want to waste my time with people that I really don't like. And what about you? Well, uh, I don't know. I think, I, I guess I am friends in, in who you can trust and who can listen anything you want to, to talk about. And if you need help, and if you are my friend, my really friend, if you need help, I will be there to help you with, no matter what. I try to, to be the friend who be there. Yeah, me too. And, and what kind of people do you like hanging around me with? Uh, well, to hanging around, well, mm, I'm not, Hello, Evelyn. Thank you so much for returning. Hello, hello, Joel. Thank you. I really hope you guys practice. I heard you speak in English. So thank you so much for that. So Evelyn, Mariela, what is friendship for you, Mariela? Uh, for me, it's a relationship between two persons that it's based on loyal, a uh, kindness, a uh, positive things, and I think it is very important because uh, if you have friends, you are a happy person, and you have uh, more persons to to share your 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 have to your goals, your happies, your everything. You can share everything. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for, for your ideas, guys. I'm sorry if, if I interrupted. Let's see, and Joel, do you agree that friendship is all about kindness and positive moments? I'm sorry, did you say my name? Yeah, it, do you think friendship is, is all about kindness, positive moments, happiness? No. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure, maybe it's not just happiness because when you are in a relation, in a friendship, I'm sorry, um, it's not always a sunny day, you know. Sometimes you have to go through the cloud days and the rain and you have to, you, the relationship between two people, the friendship between two people, two persons, I'm sorry, have to go through, the, through the, those kind of situations to get stronger you know so friendship it's, it's not always happiness nice and also teacher i want to say something mm -hmm. i feel so embarrassed because in the room i thought that i were only it was only me and francisco and i didn't realize that there were two girls in the room and we didn't 
let her let them speak so i feel a little bit guilty about that i'm sorry oh. <laughs> i said it a thousand times at the end because at the end i realized that and i i feel sorry embarrassed yes. about that yes do you guys forgive him or not no. i didn't realize <laughs> give Joel a second chance for the next time okay okay no problem thank you for recognizing that that is the first step <laughs> listen I agree with you friendship has to go through rainy days right these days in which uh, everything might look as if it's not going to you know continue being a friendship because of different uh, problems you have to face but then as Joel said this makes it stronger so thank you so much. Let's see, Emma, what kind of friend do you think you are? I think that I'm a quiet friend, but I always say the truth because I think that the truth is the best way to be a good friend because uh, I try to do my best with the people that I like in my life. Oh, moreover, I am the friend who doesn't go out with others. That's why I just call with my friends and I don't use to see them for a long time. And by the way, I think that I try to do my best for they because I like them in my life. Nice. So you like staying home, not going out much. Okay. I can see that can be positive, you know. All right, now guys, we don't have much time and please watch the video on the platform and as homework tomorrow, I want you to please solve this. You just need to match this with the um, corresponding phrase. So I didn't recognize the man and then look for the phrase that best completes the idea, okay? We are going to be using which, when, whose, what, who, whom, where, that's it. So screenshot this, or maybe I can do it for you guys. Let me see, boom. And then I will send it to you. And tomorrow we're gonna discuss it. Okay, let me send it to you right now. Sorry. We're gonna have class tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yes, we are. Okay. Did you guys know okay. that? I I I think it's just uh, Monday. It's Friday. It's Friday. But, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's only yeah. for it's only for this time. Ah, because, okay. Okay. Because okay. we are starting today, and today is what today is Thursday. So because of this is. You know, beginning is that they said that tomorrow is going to be the only Friday we are going to have class. Okay, so okay. I just sent the, okay, I'm going to delete my picture because somebody sent it better. <laughs> okay, Daniel was the one. Okay, please try to take maybe one minute, see which phrase best completes the idea, and then we'll talk about this tomorrow. This is about uh, relative pronouns. And well, guys, it was nice seeing you again. It was nice meeting uh, the new ones to this group and see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good one. Bye-bye. See you, bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Tomorrow? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.